Well, welcome back to New Day Cleveland. Okay, this is ready to go. I'm going to put it in a serving dish like this. Okay. It could have gone straight to the, straight to the uh, business straight area to my over plate there. Right, business. right, right, right. So I'm going to put a little more breadcrumbs on this. A little more Parmesan. Give another little toss. I guess I'm going to do that again too. That looks so okay, delicious. So. Yummy. Oh, and it's amazing how long the strands are. Do you see that? Could you mind if I just tried to? I know. So that's why I put a knife on your napkin there. You see how long? I mean, the, the zucchini is like. Here, I'll get it. Miniature compared. Thank you very much. Yeah, that zucchini is like only this this big. This is going to be this is going to be an interesting task. How about a little more crunch task. on it? You want a little more crunch? Because I know you like crunch. This is going to be funny here. I'm telling you right now. How should I use the knife to cut it up? That's what I'm going to need to do. I would do it a little bit. You can't do it without the knife. Here you go. It's funny too. After you do the zucchini, this is what you got left. The kids would like this, wouldn't they? I'll make a lot of noise. <laughs> is that fun? They look like little toys to play with. Okay. Here we go. Oh, here. You want a little more of this? Can't have enough cheese. I want to make sure I got that on the stove for whoever I'm has to clean it up. I'm just going to keep. Okay. Okay. There Sorry. we go. Got it. Got it. I wonder how hot it is. Mm. Not too hot, huh? No. <laughs> it's the treat that keeps on giving. <laughs> it's, uh, strands are like this long. That's so good. It's good, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, you know, I was really surprised the first time I made it. I had it somewhere, and I said, well, I'm going to try that. And I went and bought wow. I went and bought that $12 device because I'm sort of cheap. And you hold it in your hand, and you do this, and it's like, and you it's threw it crazy. Away. Yeah, it goes in the drawer for like three months, and then you throw it away because you know you're never going to use it. So I went out and bought this one like for $30. $35, and it does so many things. You make french fries on it, all kinds of stuff. This is delicious. You know what's funny is that I went to visit, I was over at our producer Abby's house last night, um, and her next door neighbor is a wonderful fan of Noonday Cleveland. She, her and her husband watch all the time. And when I went over to say hello to her, she said to her husband, you know who this is. That's the girl that eats everything. <laughs> That's She's the one who likes to eat all the food. I'm, that, that is really what I've become now. And you know what? I embrace it because I love eating his food well, and everyone else's for that matter. Yeah, thank you very it's much. It's so good. You know, what's good about this one today, too, is it matches your dress. So. It does match my dress. So and this a, is healthy. Yeah. I like this. So this is, this is all it takes to do it. And you can do it with a lot of different vegetables if you want. But zucchini really works great. I bought all these zucchinis. I think they were like, I bought five or six of them for $4, four and a half dollars. And they were the organic fancy ones. You know? Really? Yeah. So that was, it's really an inexpensive thing to do. And a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of garlic, and you're it's home. It's really good. The breadcrumbs, I mean, still bread, you could use that. Any kind of cheese if you want cheese. It'd be and, fun to get the kids involved, too, to yeah. do something like this because then they would enjoy, I mean, as a kid, I would have loved doing that. And then it might make me eat something a little yeah. bit healthier, you know? And you know what else is good in this? Is if you take, you could put capers in it if you wanted. That'd yeah, be I nice. love that salty caper. Or to get those little tiny tomatoes, the little cherry tomatoes, the ones mm -hmm. that are so sweet. And especially for her, what I would do is I'd cut them in half and I'd give them a little squeeze. Scoop out the guts. a little squeeze, all the goop comes out. <laughs> and then toss them in with the uh, olive oil and the gar right at the end of the olive oil and the garlic. So you just barely wrinkle those tomatoes. You don't want to put the tomatoes in after the squashes. You want to put them in before. It is delicious yeah. and just, healthy. Get a little bit of cheese in there. It didn't take you long to empty that. I won't that. be. No, are you kidding me? <laughs> okay. Who you're talking to? Okay, I'm going to finish up here.